What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Living your best life means something different to everyone, especially when it comes to health care. That's why Mercy One offers compassionate, personalized care. We are here for you with one team of experts providing access to the primary care and highly rated specialty care you need easily and conveniently. So go ahead, live your best life. We're with you every step of the way. Mercy One, your best life, our one purpose. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. The Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. It's hometown pride, it's hopes and dreams, it's our future leaders, it's a reason to do more and be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can only be found in Iowa. Congratulations to the student athletes and coaches on a successful year and remember, Today's successes are just the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. And welcome everyone to the Extreme Arena. We are in Coralville, Iowa, host site of the 2023 Iowa High School Volleyball State Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. I am Matt Boss. In just a moment, we'll have a matchup, a two-way quarterfinal matchup, and uh, it will feature uh, the 2-7 matchup, the Hinton Blackhawks taking on Applington Parkersburg. This game is the 225 matchup. We have one matchup going on to our left over on court number one. Top seed, Dyke New Hartford with that 47-0 record. They're taking on number eight seed, Eddiesville, Blakesford, Fremont. So uh, thank you for joining us for uh, Championship Volleyball. Just a quick overview about this 2A bracket. Uh, six, The top six teams that are ranked in that final poll, they are in the bracket. You have to go to number seven, Trainer, who it, that's the first ranked team that did not qualify. And uh, you also have the number eight team and the number 15 team. Six teams are returning to the two-way field. Seven, if you include, include Western Christian. Western Christian, the defending champion in two-way, they're bumped up a class. They just won a thrilling th uh, four-set match in class 3A over center point Urbana. So that kind of gives you the lowdown. Some newcomers to the field is one of our teams here, Applington Parkersburg. They did not qualify last year. They are back in the field. Grundy Center also is a newcomer to the field. Taking a look at these two teams, Hinton and the Blackhawks, uh, co-head coaches, uh, Robin Moore and Kate Odegren. They come from the War Eagle Conference up in Northwest Iowa. They uh, ran the table in that conference at 10 and 0 and 30 and 1 overall. In sets played, get this, they're 74 and 5 on the season in sets played. They have won 33 straight sets dating back to a, a three-set win over Sergeant Bluff Luton in one of those weekend tournaments. So this is a Hinton team on a roll, ranked second in 2A. You flip the script over to Applington Parkersburg. The Falcons, 
They finished the season ranked eighth in the final poll, and they are the number seven seed, making their eighth state tournament appearance, but first since 2008. Way back when, they were the state champion back in 2005. And uh, Applington Parkersburg from the NICL League. And uh, that is a, a very competitive league. There are 15 teams uh, across three different leagues. There's the Central, the West, and the East. And uh, five teams overall from that league are in the state tournament in different classifications. So Applington Parkersburg, the Falcons, they play a very tough schedule against Hinton. Just making their fourth state tournament, but their second straight. They lost to Dyke New Hartford last year. Molly, your thoughts on, on this one coming in. What do you see by the stats? Um, well, you know, when you say the number of wins Hinton has had in a row, that's, that's impressive in itself and the number of sets uh, right there. But uh, Applington Parkersburg on a run of winning two in a row that were five set matches back to the wall and to get here. So they've been battle tested. And like you said, they play in a really tough conference uh, and their losses are two tough teams. Um, so I think they're they're not going to be shocked by the level of competition here. Uh, for Applington Parkersburg, they're led by uh, Mo Winkle. And um, she is an outside hitter that's got 357 kills on the year. Uh, and then Peyton Kloster, 330 kills. That's two impressive, you know, numbers of kills for uh, different players, but they're well balanced. Uh, and then for Hinton, you know, you and I were talking before, they go to Bailey Boovey a lot, uh, but they also have some other really skilled players. Bailey's got 340 kills. Uh, she, you know, has... <laughs> her coach was telling me that you know she played on Team Iowa with some of the best players here in the state. Uh, she's been to AAU Nationals and been MVP two times at that. So high-level uh, player there, but a, a whole team that surrounds her and complements her as well. This is the uh, Quartz Class 2A quarterfinals, the second one to get underway. We'll have more from the Extreme Arena in a moment. Thanks for joining us for the 2023 Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union State Volleyball Championship. We hope you're enjoying the competitive action on the court, and we are excited to have President Brent Johnson of the Iowa Farm Bureau here to talk to us about the relationship between Iowa Farm Bureau and the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Thanks for joining us, Brent. Your support for youth and education goes beyond the IGHSAU. What other support does Iowa Farm Bureau provide for Iowa's youth? Well, you know, Iowa's youth is tomorrow's leaders, and we, we like to support them in so many different ways. So, so annually, we give over $250,000 in scholarships, and those kids really should reach out to their local Farm Bureau office to, to find those applications and, and get it starting in that process. Number two, we've partnered with you and the Boys Association as well to provide um, concussion insurance. You know, that's something that is only offered in seven states. Yep. And our relationship, we're able to provide that for those families at no cost so all these students can compete at a high level and, and know that they're safe doing so. We've also provided over $450,000 to wow. teachers across the entire state so they can equip their classrooms properly. Awesome. That's great. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Brent, for joining us. Absolutely. And thank you, Farm Bureau, for your support of the Iowa Girl. Back to volleyball.
And welcome back to the Extreme Arena in Coralville, Iowa, host site of the 2023 Iowa High School State Volleyball Tournament. This is quarterfinal day for our three smallest classifications, 3A, and now a 2A matchup, number two seed Hinton, taking on number seven, Applington Parkersburg. Let's go courtside for player introductions and the opening ceremony of this matchup. Time, the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union and the Iowa Farm Bureau would like to recognize the outstanding sportsmanship and decorum shown by the qualifying schools during the season and state tournament week. In recognition of the importance of good sportsmanship, each state qualifying school is asked to nominate a spectator who represents their school and community in a sportsmanlike manner. Brecken Schilling from North Mahaska High School and a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Council of the IJHSAU will present each nominee with a certificate of recognition and a $250 check payable to their school scholarship fund. Please join us in honoring these individuals whose decorum and respect for others serves as a model for all spectators attending interscholastic events. From Applicant Parkersburg, Julie Eddy. And from Hinton, Bruce Held. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union promotes good sportsmanship by participants, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants, officials, and spectators in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, sexist, or abusive comments, or intimidating actions directed at officials, participants, coaches, team representatives, or event personnel will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal. We thank you for your cooperation and invite you to enjoy the game. All right, fans, welcome to today's 2023 Girls State Volleyball quarterfinal matchup featuring the Epica Parkers or Falcons and the Hinton Blackhawks. It's now time to introduce the players in today's quarterfinal matchup. First, for Aptic and Parkersburg. Number two, Colby Wangzis. Number five, Elise Tomey. Number 10, Kennedy Kalkorf. Number 11, Ava Eddy. Number 12, Kiera Morris. Number 13, Hope Maiman. Number 14, Adri Allen. Number 15, Avery Meyer. The assistant coaches, Heidi Boozman, Mallory Hikins, and Libby Jansen. Now let's meet the starters for the Falcons. A senior, number one, Olivia Bellows. A junior, number two, number three. Correction, number three, Emma Wolf. A junior, number four, Bella Boozman. A senior, number seven, Kenzie Mowinkle. A junior, number eight, Peyton Kloster. A sophomore, number nine, Zoe Uhlenhop. And the libero, number 16, Adria Niemeyer. The head coach of the Falcons is Candice Kluspies. Now let's meet the Blackhawks. A senior, number two, Sailor Yower. A junior, number three, Hannah Paulson. A junior, number four, Ava Vondrak. A junior, number six, Natalie Nelson. A senior, number eight, Andy Joe Walker. A junior, number 11, Olivia Peterson. A sophomore, number 13, Caitlin Hofling. A senior, number 15, Eva Van Acker. And the assistant coach, Nolan Hazy. Now let's meet the starters for Hinton. A senior, number five, Gabby Friesen. A senior, number seven, Carlene Hicklin. A sophomore, number nine, Bailey Booby. A sophomore, number 10, Carlin Kovarna. A senior, number 12, Ashlyn Kovarna. A senior, number 14, Avery Bergad. And the libero, a senior, number 17, Belle DeRocher. 
The co-head coaches for the Blackhawks are Robin Moore and Kate Ortegren. Now fans, if you direct your attention to the area in front of the scorer's table for the introduction of our officials for this match. Your first referee, Randy Clark. Your second referee, Larry Escher. And the line judges, Kurt Larkin and Gene Denny. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for state tournament volleyball. And fans, before we begin today's match, we'd like to once again thank the Iowa Farm Bureau, proud title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union for their support. The Iowa Farm Bureau has an office located in each county across Iowa, and we'd like to thank the offices listed on your screen for their support of the two teams playing in our match today. Thank you, Iowa Farm Bureau, for supporting the IGHSAU and the Iowa Girl, number two, Hinton, 30 and one on the season. The lone blemish to Sioux City Healan, a team that's been ranked in Class 4A back on September 23. But uh, they ran the table in the War Eagle, 21 straight wins for the Hinton Blackhawks. They're taking on number seven seed in eighth rank, Applington Parkersburg, 34 and eight. They also on an impressive win streak. They have won 11 straight. So a lot on the line, a trip to the semifinals. And uh, they will play either Grundy Center or Kemper Catholic. That game will be played at 425 right here on court number two. If you're watching at home, Hinton is in the uh, white, white tops, while Applington Parkersburg is wearing the visiting as the lower seed. They are wearing the dark jersey color. Hinton against Applington Parkersburg. These two teams have never met. Hinton making their second straight and fourth overall state tournament appearance. Applington Parkersburg, their eighth state tournament, but first since 2008. And it's the libero, Belle DeRocher, 32 aces on the season. She'll get us underway, and here we go. Falcons and an ace serve right out of the gate for Hinton. And aces in today's match are brought to you by Kruger Seeds, your local seeds dealer. Visit KrugerSeed.com today. Right out of the gate, the libero, Bell DeRocher, with an ace serve, and now a missed serve. It all's even, we're tied at one, and now Applington Parkersburg will uh, get to serve first, and I believe their setter will be, it'll be uh, Bella Boos Boosman. Boosman will serve. Boosman with 58 ace serves, averaging 9.2 assists, fifth best in class 2A. Hinton on the attack, they'll send it outside. Hit across by a Hicklin, and set goes to the left side, and a big block by Bailey Booby and Kovarna, and a point for Hinton. And Matt, I was looking at the stats for the year, and Bailey Booby has 191 total blocks, which I know I was watching a really good blocker earlier today that was just at the 100 mark, which is a big number in itself, so about double that. So clearly I think we'll see a lot of blocks from her today. The serve by Yower, Hinton on the attack. Right, left side, Gabby Friesen puts it away. Another point for Hinton, they're out to a three to one lead. Both of these teams will run a five one offense. So not a contrast of styles per se. It'll be interesting to see how the balance of the Falcons will take on Hinton, led by Bailey Boovey. You're gonna hear her name time and time again. How about right now? A block by Bailey Boovey and her teammate on the right side, Kovarna. Hinton out to a 4-1 lead. Falcons down 4-1. Another serve by uh, Yawer. Here's the set by Boozman. They're going to go back row. Dug up nicely by Hicklin. Here's Booby on the slide. Applington Parkersburg with a block. They'll go back outside. They being Hinton. Roll shot. Got it. Not only does she got the power, but she's got the placement there. I like seeing the you know one of the leading hitters being a middle because it seems like it's it's sometimes hard to get the ball to a middle so you tend to move them to the outside not hard to get it to them but you know you need a you need a pretty good pass and so it'll be fun to see how creative they can get too and how much she moves and works to be available as a hitter as well 
Miss serve by the Blackhawks. Kinsey Mowinkle back to serve for Applington Parkersburg. Sends it to the back line. Underneath it is Ashlyn Kovarna. She'll send it outside to Booby. And Booby goes cross court. Down it goes. And it's 6-2 in favor of Hinton in the early going. Friesen will rotate to the back row. Carlene Hicklin will replace her as a left side pin hitter for the Blackhawks. Friesen back to serve. Friesen with 43 aces, and there's another ace. Second ace for the Blackhawks. They're out to a 7-2 lead, and a timeout called by Applington Parkersburg and their head coach, Candace Klespies, this timeout. A fan, Central College has covered your career building programs, and with tuition less than $20,000 a year and tons of scholarships, it's the best decision ever. Apply today at central.com. Edu Early going, Hinton with the lead, 7-2 to two is the score. And uh, Coach Geis got an Applington-Parkersburg team that hasn't been here in a while. Nerves playing a part, do you think? I, I do believe so, yeah. And you're, you know, you're the seven seed. You, you know, you can kind of play some mind games to start. But um, Applington-Parkersburg is also one of those teams that uh, has shown that maybe they uh, – you know, I'm not saying they lose this set, but I'm just saying in, in past they've, you know, they lost a big set and they come back and then they win the next one. Like they don't, they don't stay down for long. So I, I know they're just trying to regroup and uh, I think it's, yeah, nerves of going, who's going to go for the ball, that kind of thing right now. Friesen will try to continue the service run. It's tipped over by the Falcons. Hinton reloads. They'll send it outside. This is Hicklin on the left side. Cross court dug up by Niemeyer. Here's a right side attack. This is Meyer dug up by Hinton. Hinton, Kovarna will send it over on the second ball. Returned back by the Falcons. Here comes Hinton on the slide. That's Booby and just a little long on that. And a point by Applington Parkersburg. Longest rally of the match. Good use of the timeout, 7-3. And the Falcons get the side out. Back to serve is Ava Eddy. Eddy back to serve. And here comes Hinton. Hinton on the slide to Booby. This one she delivers. Booby just outside that 10-foot line. Booby with another kill. It's eight to three in favor of Hinton. And Booby basically one out of every two attempts she's going to get a kill based on statistics, which is very impressive. But the slide in general is just really hard to block. And you don't see it. I mean, she's ran it a lot here. Booby now will drop back to serve, but don't think they won't go to her out of the back row. There's a tip. Hinton with a diving save and a beauty. Kovarna will send it across. See what Applicant Parkersburg can do. Little out of system. Meyer will send it cross court short. And Hinton now in scramble mode. They'll send a ground spike over with Hicklin. Applicant Parkersburg, neither team able to get in system. There's a nice attack by Avery Meyer on the right side. Meyer puts it away. Point Applicant Parkersburg. Yeah, Applington Parkersburg was really trying to get it to Avery Meyer, and uh, you know she she made some smart shots. They weren't the perfect uh, ball to swing hard at, and she kept waiting, and then she got the good one to to swing aggressively at. Emma Wolf, a 5'7 junior, serving, and a nice decision by the setter for the Blackhawk, Ashlyn Kovarna. Just a little flip with the wrist, dumps it across for the kill, and Kovarna puts Hinton in front, nine to four. And she's a very aggressive setter, which makes, you know, her hitters more effective, too. Kovarna back to serve on the attack. Applington Parkersburg. Nice attack there. That was Meyer once again. Back to serve is Peyton Kloster. Mo Winkle will rotate to the front row. Kloster, one of the two pin hitters. Hinton sets up the middle, hit over by Burgad, and down it goes. Burgad with the kill, and the Blackhawks with a 10-5 lead. Back to serve will be Hicklin. Carlene Hicklin, 15 aces, the 5'9 senior. This is a senior late in Hinton team, with the exception of Booby, who's just a sophomore. That attack goes long, hit out of bounds by Olivia Bellows. There's no touch. Hinton back in front with 11-5 lead. Back to serve is Hicklin. Friesen rotates to the front row. Hicklin and Friesen, the two pin hitters. Booby and Burgad are the two middles. Then they have uh, Carlin Kovarna on the right side. And there's a nice attack for Applicant Parkersburg. 
Olivia bellows from the middle. Point, Applington Parkersburg. Adrian Niemeyer, 32 aces on the season for the junior libero. And she'll serve it deep. Boovy with a nice pass. Right side attack, Kovarna. Dug up for the time being for, by Applington Parkersburg. Here comes Hinton. They'll send it outside. Friesen got it. Nice attack by Gabby Friesen on the pin. Point Hinton. Hint. Go ahead. Friesen is uh, committed to play volleyball at the University of Wisconsin in Oshkosh. Uh, and one fun fact about her, I guess, is she has a video business where she helps athletes with recruiting clips. So I thought that was pretty cool to hear about a kid who is That's an entrepreneur awesome. wow. and helping yeah, out others that, you know, she's been through that. And now it's Friesen who delivers that attack and kill 13-6. Hinton is led from the get-go. They have not trailed. Here's the libero, DeRocher, back to serve. Set by Boozman, goes to the left side. Big block by Hinton, knocks it back. They're going to reload. That's Mo Winkle, Hinton on the attack. They'll go right side. That is uh, Kovarna, blocked back by Applington Parkersburg, dumped over to the back, and it's a kill for the setter. Great placement that time by Kovarna. Another point for Hinton. For sure. Just a small little square in that corner, and she hit it. Hinton rolling, 14-6 is the score. One timeout still remaining for Applington Parkersburg. They can use it when they would like. Set close to the net, hit down once again by Kovarna. Carlin Kovarna delivers the kill. Hinton 15-6, and the final timeout going to be called by Applington Parkersburg. Oh, no. No, I thought, I thought. I know. Sometimes coaches go to ask how many they have left because you kind of forget gotcha. at times. Well, it worked because Hinton, their momentum yeah. is done. So the fake. Back to serve is the setter, Bella Boozman. Applington Parkersburg will get the extra attacker. They'll have three swinging up front. And on the right side, it's Kovarna who puts it away. Carlin Kovarna with another successful attack, just a sophomore. 16-7, Hinton with the lead. Sailor Yower with the uh, serve coming up for Hinton. And her serve taken by the libero, Niemeyer. Here's the left side attack. That's Mo Winkle, sent back by the Blackhawks, near overpass, set up to the middle. Hinton unable to control it as Zoe Uhlenhoff puts it down. And Applington Parkersburg with a side out and point. I think that ball went off, went off with one of the blocker's head and high, and they weren't sure if they were going to play it on the Applington Parkersburg side, but it was a smart decision to not let that drop. Here's the serve by Mo Winkle, set close to the net. Kovarna, her second time doing that. When that set is, goes to the net, she just flips it over, and Kovarna delivers another kill, 17-8 Hinton. And what Kovarna just did there, you don't see maybe once in a lifetime you play a, a setter that does that exact thing. Like, it's not a typical thing. It's, a, it's her, you know, trademark thing that she does, and it's tough to defend. You don't see it very often. Hinton on the attack. Hicklin puts it away. Carlene Hicklin, 18-8, another point for Hinton. And now we do indeed have the second timeout called by Applington Parkersburg. And fans, official state tournament merchandise now available online. Time to get your smartphones out. Just scan the QR code on your screen now or visit ighsau.org to browse and customize your merchandise to match your style. Hinton with an 18-8 lead right now here on court number two. Dyke New Hartford leads that their match, a quarterfinal match in Class 2A. Over on court one, two sets to nothing. Set one was close. In fact, they trailed late. Set two, Dyke New Hartford, the number one seed, won it comfortably as they will move into set three over on court number one. Here, 18-8, and, and Coach... I'm impressed with Hinton, and Boovy has made her plays, but uh, the Blackhawks, they have more than just Boovy. Kovarna making some nice plays. Both outsides, Friesen and Hicklin doing some things that you got to like as well. Yeah, and I think teams like to show that early. We're not just one player, and you're going to have to defend multiple 
uh, hitters. And they, you know, overall as a team, they were just really, so far of their 17 points, they, or I guess they have 18 now, but they have 13 kills. That's a pretty good efficiency. Yeah, they're earning their points. Here's Boovy on a slide, just puts it away. That's gonna be tough to stop. You are correct on that. <laughs> I guess one of the things you gotta do is you gotta serve aggressive. You know, yeah. Because if they get that first pass, they're gonna do that all day. Back to serve is Friesen, and that goes into the net. Points for Applington Parkersburg, but Hinton has the Falcons on the ropes here. 19-9 in set number one. Ava Eddy back to serve for Applington Parkersburg. Hinton, the only team from the War Eagle Conference that is in the uh, championship field in any classification. There's an attack by uh, Hicklin, dug up by Applington Parkersburg. Right side, and there's Meyer with the kill. Avery Meyer on the right side. She's found some success on the right side for the Falcons. Yeah, and Applington Parkersburg really uses their pins the most. They're outside hitters and they're right side hitter. Um, and It'll be interesting to see, you know, they don't typically use their middles as much. Um, and, you know, with Boovy in the middle, I don't know if they're going to push that. They're probably going to try to keep using the pins and back. use that to their advantage. Back-to-back -back points from the Falcons after a missed attack air on Boovy. There's a missed serve by Applington Parkersburg. 20-11 to 11 in favor of Hinton. Applington Parkersburg out of timeouts. Hinton has been in control throughout. Never have trailed. Boovy back to serve. That means Avery Burgad will move to the front row. So Boovy, the sophomore, rated as the top sophomore in the state of Iowa, and there's an ace for Boovy. 51 aces on the season for Boovy. 21-11 in favor of Hinton. She really does it all. That's a, a great serve, and you know she's a multi-talented player. 191 blocks, that stat you gave me, that is outstanding. That's just, it's almost twice as many as yeah, <laughs> some of the leaders right. on, on other teams. It is twice as many. Let's see if she's the leader in the entire state, I'm guessing. Emma Wolf back to serve for the Falcons. 21-12 is the score. I have it as the state leader. Yeah, I think I by, checked on that. By 61. The next <laughs> is that person all? is 130. <laughs> wow. Boovy with a roll shot there. Hinton three points away from the uh, first set, up 22-12. Back to serve is the setter, Ashlyn Kovarna. Hinton gains the extra attacker up front. There's a left side attack hit over by Kluster. Sent back by Boovy. See what Applington Parkersburg can do. They'll set it up to the middle. Hitting it over is Uhlenhop. Kept alive, no. And a point for Applington Parkersburg. 22-12 is the score on the double contact. Take New Hartford, 5-3 lead. Make it 6-3 and their third set, leading that match two sets to zero in a match against Eddiesville, Blakesburg, Fremont. Set goes to the middle. Burgad puts it away. Avery Burgad. And Hinton two points away from the first set. That was a really good swing from the senior. Carlene Hicklin back to serve for the Blackhawks, trying to close it out here in set number one. Good looking serve by Hicklin. Punched over by Bellows, dug up by Hinton. Diving save. Kovarna will send it across. Nope, double contact. A little out of sorts in. On defense there by Hinton. Back to serve will be Adria Niemeyer for the Falcons. Junior libero for Applington Parkersburg. 23-14, Niemeyer bolts one to the back corner. Hinton, they'll send it to the back row to Boovy just inside the back line. And Boovy with another kill. Set point coming up for Hinton. You can't breathe a sigh of relief when she goes to the back row because she's gonna swing back there as well. Set point coming up for Hinton. And the set goes outside to Applington Parkersburg. Hinton with the block off of the Falcons. And Hinton takes the first set. Final score 25 
22-14. 25-14 is your first set score. Number two, Hinton with the win. We'll take a break. Come back with more championship volleyball from the Extreme Arena in a moment. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. When you choose Delta Dental of Iowa, you set a chain of good in motion because we invest in your community. So whether you get your plan at work or purchase it through us, you get more than great dental and vision insurance. You make a difference for others. Choose Delta Dental for your smile, for your health, and for your community. And welcome back to the Extreme Arena here in Coralville, Iowa, site of the 2023 Iowa High School State Volleyball Tournament. And set number one in this two-way quarterfinal goes to Hinton, 25-14, impressive fashion. And uh, we're going to take a look at the first set numbers and this, the, the stats celebrating 60 years. Sukup Manufacturing offers decades of quality products from a family-owned business, a winning combination producing innovative, reliable grain storage and grain handling products. Visit sukupsukup.com. Taking a look at the stats, Hinton, 17 kills, 5 for Applington Parkersburg. And as you would expect with those numbers, Hinton, 47% kill efficiency. Hinton hitting in the single digits. And uh, that, you take that as a coach hitting 47% at the state tournament. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a high. Basically every other swing is getting a kill. Applington Parker. And it's not just it's not just Booby. I mean, she is wow. She is unstoppable. She's going to get her kills. You're trying to stop her and slow her down, but the other players uh, are stepping up as well. 17 kills, just three errors for Hinton, and they are playing clean volleyball. One nothing Hinton as he missed serve to start things for Applington Parkersburg. Kovarna will send it over for the Blackhawks. Here come the Falcons in system. Left side, got it. Strong attack by Mo Winkle, and we're tied at one. And smart for Applington Parkersburg, they did the little like piggyback where you know they've got two two hitters going in at the same time, and uh, blockers got a pick. And when you've got a tough blocking team like Hinton, you got to figure something out. Kovarna goes to her sister, the younger Kovarna. That's Carlin on the right side, dug up by the Falcons. Hinton will reload. Kovarna goes to Booby. Inside the 10-foot line, good dig by Applington Parkersburg to extend the play. Boovey will get another chance. Back time, tips it over the block. And Boovey with her, another kill. That's seven for Bailey Boovey. She's got a little toolbox of <laughs> different things that she's going to try and know that will work. Yeah, we're back to serve for the Blackhawks. In front, one set to zero, two to one in set two. Set goes to the right side to Meyer, and she continues to deliver. Meyer with another kill on the right side, her third in seven swings. We're tied at two early stages of set two. And Meyer's a successful hitter anyways, but I think that's a really smart decision when you've got such a strong block on the on you know Applington Parkersburg's outsides with uh, their with the Hinton right sides and with Boovey. That's where they'll be blocking together. And Hinton sets up Boovey on the left side pin and she puts it away. Hinton, they move her around a lot. She will attack anywhere and got a pretty good setter setting her the ball, getting her into those spots. Yeah. Friesen back to serve. Hicklin will rotate to the front row. Meyer kind of lost her footing on the approach and a point for Hinton up 4-2 in set number two. 
Friesen back to serve. Hinton with a 4-2 lead, set number two. Winner will play Wednesday in a semifinal. No day of rest, that's tomorrow. Set goes to the outside, big swing by Kluster, dug up by Hinton. Kovarna sends it over on the second ball. Great dig. Applington Parkersburg keeps it alive. Kovarna will go left side, and Hicklin hits it out of bounds. And a point for Applington Parkersburg. Good defense that time by the Falcons. And Kovarna, you know, she she keeps you guessing. Like, you can't. Uh, assume that she's going to set the ball. She might dump it, but she has di several different ways that she's going to bring it across or set one of her amazing hitters. Here's Boovey on the back row and gets it. Bailey Boovey with her ninth kill in 14, 15 swings now, still hitting nearly 500. Boovey will rotate to the back row and serve with a 5-3 lead. 5-3, Hinton with the lead. Set number two, they won the first set over Applington Parkersburg. 25-14, serve taken in the back by Mowinkle. Up to the outside to close Kluster, blocked back by Hinton. Kluster reloads, sends it over the block. Set goes to Booby in the back row, dug over by Applington Parkersburg, joust at the net, Hinton gets control. They'll have to bump set it, swings it out to Hicklin. Cross court, dug up by Applington Parkersburg. Out of the middle, tipped over by Bellows. Joust at the net this time. Hinton pushes it over. Applington Parkersburg controls it. Left side attack, dug up by Hinton. They'll bring it to the front row, bumped over. Here come the Applington Parkersburg. Outside, hit it over as Kluster. Diving save by Hinton. Outside Hicklin. And goes line, still kept alive by Applington Parkersburg. See if Hinton can finish it off. Hicklin, another swing, left side. Dug up by the Falcons. They'll bring it back to the front row, hit over. Hinton will get another chance, double contact, I think, called on Applington Parkersburg. Longest rally of the match, won by Hinton. Ooh, take a breath. That was a long one. <laughs> nice rally, both teams. Yeah. Both teams had, had some opportunities to finish it earlier. Pretty good defense. Movie serving. And a near ace, and it is going to be an ace serve. Ace for Booby. Aces in today's match brought to you by Kruger Seeds, your local seeds dealer. Visit KrugerSeed.com today. That ace by Booby makes it 7-3 in favor of Hinton. Booby, big cross-court serve. They'll send it outside. Kluster and goes line, puts it down. Peyton Kluster with the attack and kill. She'll rotate to the back. Mo Winkle will replace her on the left side pin. Kluster back to serve. Kluster, six foot junior, outside hitter. Set goes to the middle, down it goes. Bergad puts it away. Avery Bergad with another kill. Eight four in favor of Hinton. Ashlyn Kovarna, the setter. Hinton will have the three attackers across the front with the setter in the back. And here comes the Falcons. They'll set up on the left side. Mo Winkle. Hinton keeps it alive. Kovarna sends it across. Back row attack is what I'm guessing on Kovarna, and I believe it is. Point side out for Applington Parkersburg. Game gets long for us, and sometimes same thing for the setter. Remember, was it back row or front row? And they know after they've done it, too. They know. They have a guilty look about them. Here's Boovey on the back row. Nice dig, kept alive by Niemeyer. Bumped across by Applington Parkersburg. And Kovarna sends it outside. Hicklin puts it away. Not a lot there, but Carlene Hicklin found an opening. Hit it around the block. Point for Hinton. Carlene Hicklin now with three kills. Friesen and Hicklin with three each on the outsides. And this is Hicklin serving. Near overpass, flipped over by Applington Parkersburg. Kovarna. Right side to the younger Cor Corvana. And into the net it goes. Side out and point for Applington Parkersburg. Back to serve will be the setter for Applington Parkersburg, Bella Boozman. Boozman back to serve. Now the Falcons will gain the extra attacker up front with the setter in the back. And what's that? Over the line on the serve? Yeah, foot fault. I didn't, it wasn't watching for it, but that was the second time 
And that's not a call you see a lot. No. But if it happens, it happens. Right. DeRocher to serve for Hinton. 10-6, Hinton with the lead. And tooling it off. No. Inbounds on the block. Mo Winkle thought she had the tool, but it goes inbounds. Point for Hinton. Dyke New Hartford just swept in their quarterfinal match. They'll advance to the semifinals as they sweep Eddiesville ba Blakesburg Fremont. Set goes outside, and Mo Winkle into the net. It goes. Point Hinton. Blackhawks now strung three straight points together, up 12 6 in set two. Timeout called by Applington Parkersburg. We're going to take a break ourselves. You are watching Championship Volleyball at the Extreme Arena. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. You are watching the Iowa High School Volleyball State Tournament. We are at the Extreme Arena in Coralville, Iowa. This is the second year that these championship has been at the Extreme Arena. Moving down here last year after a long stint in Cedar Rapids. Uh, this is my first trip to the Extreme Arena. Very impressed with this facility. Uh, one thing of note, when you're down courtside, it is so loud during these matches. My goodness, it's almost overwhelming, really. Yeah, it's neat to have, like, I went down and where the student sections are, they're right on the court, whereas in Cedar Rapids, it was, they were up above. Yep. Um, and so pretty intense and neat to have the student section so close. Fun for the kids, too. Applington Parkersburg out of a timeout. They'll set up on the right side. Avery Meyer out of bounds. Another point for Hinton, who has strung together now four straight points up 13-6. Already leading the match, one set to zero. Meyer hits it across. Hinton digs it up. Here's a right side. Down it goes. Carlin Kovarna with the big swing and attack. 14-6. Hinton running away with set two. They won the first set, 25-14. And Hinton is one of those teams that are so good that they're taking Athlington Parkersburg out of their normal game, and that gets to be stressful you know, to not be able to play your typical volleyball that your team plays and that you've gotten used to. Kinsey Mowinkle delivers a, a kill on the left side. Mowinkle will drop back to serve now. Mowinkle and Peyton Kluster, the two left side hitters, the two leading hitters for this Applington Parkersburg team. Outside, Boovy cross court, dug over by Niemeyer, Hinton will reload. Kovarna with a big swing. That time, Applington Parkersburg unable to dig it up inbounds and another point for Hinton. And Hinton, they're just firing on all cylinders, keeping Applington Parkersburg on their heels. Yeah, Kovarna swings equally, not, I don't know if I could say equally as hard, but very aggressively. Uh, like Boovy and you've got two sophomores right there. Like they're, you're, you're gonna hear those names for a while. The rest of the group is seniors, but you got two talented sophomores if you're hinting. Applington Parkersburg setting up Meyer, and that was touched. Meyer's going to get the kill. Side out for Applington Parkersburg. Meyer with her fourth kill. 15 7, Blackhawks with an eight point lead in this class two way quarterfinal match. This is the 2 7 matchup. Hinton been ranked second all season long. It's where they opened in the preseason and they held that ranking all year. Dyke New Hartford, of course, number one all season. It's going to be hard to overtake Dyke New Hartford for that number one spot. Let's see if he can beat him here down at the Alliance Extreme Arena. Missed serve by Applington Parkersburg. 16-8, Hinton with the lead. Winner of this will be play either Grundy Center or Kemper Catholic, the 3-6 matchup in the semifinal. Hinton digging it up outside Kovarna. Cross court, down it goes. That was the setter, Ashlyn Kovarna. And Molly, you said it, that she's very aggressive. She looks to attack when she can, and that time she delivers. Yeah, she probably would be a really good attacker, you know, put her in a different 
outside hitter or whatever, but she's a great setter, so they're using her how they should, you know, be super aggressive. You don't always have, that's probably why her assist numbers aren't, as, they could be higher, but she has a lot of kills herself. Right side attack by Meyer, putting it away once again. 17-9, Hinton with the lead. Back to serve for the Falcons. This is uh, Wolf serving. Out of the middle, and it's Boovy just inside that sideline. Boovy with another attack. That's her ninth kill. Hitting 368. 18-9 is the score. Back to serve will be Boovy. Bergad rotates to the front. Boovy back to serve with Hinton in front. 18-9. Boovy into the net it goes, and a point on the miss serve for the Falcons. Falcons trading points right now. They need to string together a couple of points on serve to get back in this set, something that they have been unable to do. Credit Hinton now with that. Here's the serve by Kluster. Hinton digging it up outside Hicklin. Block back, and it's going to be off of Hinton. And a point for Applington Parkersburg on serve, 18-11. They're within seven. 18-11, another serve coming from Peyton Kluster, right to the back middle, and on the overpass, poking it down, was the setter, Kovarna. Kovarna delivers the kill, 19-11, Hinton with the lead. Kovarna now back to serve. Kovarna, the setter, and an ace for Kovarna. Another ace serve, five for Hinton now. And it makes it 20 to 11 in favor of the Blackhawks. Afflicton Parkersburg does have a timeout if they so choose. Kovarna, same spot, back corner. Falcons dig it up, they'll go left side. Diving get by wow. Hinton. They'll go right side, Kovarna to the back row, dug up by Wolf. Middle attack, hit over by Bellows. Hinton re returns it. Back outside to Mo Winkle. That's out of bounds. Another point, Hinton. 21 to 11. Blackhawks, and we're going to have a timeout, I believe. Yes. Final timeout called by Applington Parkersburg. Set number two going Hinton's way. 21 11 is the score. Be back after a short timeout. You're watching Championship Volleyball from the Extreme Arena. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. <laughs> Welcome back to the Extreme Arena, host site of the 2023 Iowa High School State Volleyball Championship. This is day number two, got underway yesterday with some 5A and 4A uh, quarterfinal matches. This is the day that uh, it belongs to the smaller classifications, 3A this morning. Now we have a group of 2A, uh, four 2A matches. Tonight we'll have the 1A quarterfinals starting tomorrow. It's semifinal action. 21 to 11 is the score. This is Matt Boss calling the action, joined by uh, Molly Geis here on court number two, a court that Hinton has a one set to zero lead. 21 to 11, Hinton leading here in set number two. Tooling it off the block. Was oh, getting blocks. Oh, got it, <laughs> got it. That's right, yeah. Kovarna with the block. And that's been kind of the story here. You know, Applington Parkersburg outside hitters are their go-tos, and they've been, you know, shut down basically by the Applington Parkersburg block um, and the aggressive serving of or, uh, Hinton's block. Um, so, you know, they've got to try something new, maybe keep it off the net a little bit and um, use the blocker's hands, uh, but probably not on a tight set going to beat that block. Out of the middle it goes, Bellows, and overpass. Bellows on the second effort, puts it away, 22-12. Hinton three points away from taking set two and opening up a two set to zero lead. Niemeyer back to serve, try to rally the Falcons. You know, if you can force Hinton to take a timeout, you might not win this set, but try to gain some momentum back. There's Bergad blocked back by Applington Parkersburg. Another nice block by, by the Falcons. 
And it's pushed over by Booby. See what the Falcons can do offensively. Set close to the net. Right there is Kovarna, dug over by Boozman. Hinton reloads, Hicklin left side, tools it off the block point, Hinton. 23-12 in favor of Hinton. Afflington Parkersburg getting their hands, getting some touches up at the net. And they've had a few blocks this set, which is good. Hinton two points away from the set and a 2-0 lead. Falcons will have it. Dumped across by Boozman. Hinton with a diving save will try to save it. No good. Bella Boozman will get credit for that attack and kill. Boozman drops back to serve as the setter. 23-13 is the score. 25-14 in the first set. 23-13 here. Bella Boozman is a good setter. I was Like I said, I watched her game online, and she just sets a really nice ball, and that was a smart decision to dump that ball, too. Hinton. In system, Kovarna, right side, down it goes. Actually, Avery Bergad moved Bergad from the middle to the right. That's why I was a little confused. 24-13, Hinton with set point. It'll be their libero, DeRocher, serving. DeRocher, back to serve. Serve taken in system. Falcons, Boozman will have to uh, set it to the back row, and it's put down. At the net by Bailey Booby. Hinton takes the second set by the score of 25-13. Hinton leads this quarterfinal match two sets to zero. We'll talk about it after a short timeout. You're watching the Iowa High School State Volleyball Tournament. Something exciting is growing on Iowa farms these days. Innovation. From tractors that seed, weed, and harvest with data-driven precision to drones that scout or plant cover crops to protect soil and water. Even our animals live in smart homes with round-the-clock care. Technology keeps your food safer, water cleaner, and makes us more sustainable. Because what we do here benefits everyone here. Life on the farm makes everyone's life better. Here in Greater Des Moines, we're the unexpected sports mecca that feels like home. We are the big ballers, the little kickers, the underdogs, and the bulldogs. We've got events wacky and wild, big and small, we host them all. And that old sports cliche, nobody believes in us? Nah, when you come here, you'll believe. Because in Des Moines, only the S's are silent. Let's go! Being your family's grocery store isn't just about having the best butcher cut meat or the freshest produce. It's not about having the highest quality online shopping or experts who handpick your groceries. And it's not just about giving you the most affordable prices. Being your family's grocery store means making sure that you have all of that. And that's why at Fairway Meat and Grocery, it's what we've always been about. Welcome back to the Extreme Arena, the host site of the 2023 Iowa High School State Volleyball Championship Class 2A quarterfinal here on court number two, number two seed Hinton with a two set to zero lead over Applington Parkersburg as we head into the third set. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Applington Parkersburg hitting at a 2%, 13 kills and 12 errors compared to Hinton, 29 kills. Hinton hitting at that 36%. Hinton's number down a little bit, but as is Applington Parkersburg, Hinton just really controlling things up at the net, Molly. Yeah, they really are. And, you know, they have 34 digs. That's that's pretty impressive. So that there also makes Applington Parkersburg not as effective when they're swinging because Hinton is getting their hands on things and setting it back up for that impressive uh, hitting efficiency. So... Hinton with five aces and six blocks. Applington Parkersburg zeros in those categories. Almost in every stat category, Hinton has the advantage through two sets, but volleyball is a strange game and momentum can change. A near ace right out of the gate by DeRocher. Hinton's going to get it back. They'll set up on the left side. That's Friesen who puts it away. Point for the Blackhawks. And I'm sure Applington Parkersburg coaches are saying nobody better than to to reverse the script because we've done it before and you know those five set matches that both of them that they had to win to get here so you know 
it can get exhausting, but you hope that you've used that experience to push in this situation. Uh, ace serve by DeRocher, the seventh ace of the match. And again, aces today's match are brought to you by Kruger Seeds, your local seeds dealer. Visit KrugerSeed.com today. Now service error that time by DeRocher. And Applington Parkersburg on the board here in set number three. Two to one, Hinton. Both of these teams came in with impressive records and win streaks. Applington Parkersburg, 11 straight wins. Hinton with 21 straight. And there's an ace for Applington Parkersburg, their first ace of the match. And it was accomplished by their setter, Boozman. Ties it at two. Now Dyke New Hartford has the chance to come over. You know, their game is done. They can come watch because you know Hinton is trying to to make them think a little bit about look at a look at this you know solid win that's what they're going for uh, we, to have Dyke New Hartford think about that a little bit. We can sweep two and yeah, Dyke New Hartford a lot of time right now. Their match got done quickly. Hinton on the attack. Kovarna sends it right side to Carlin Corvana. Blocked back by the Falcons. Hinton gets it back, falling away. Friesen still gets it to go. Gabby Friesen puts Hinton back in front, three to two. Substitutions in today's game are brought to you by IMT Insurance. I learn how you can be worry-free with IMT at imtins.com. Hit over by Meyer. Hinton will get a bump set. Kovarna on the right side, blocked back, maybe four hits. Friesen left side, and we got a player in the net and outside the antenna. Side out for Applington Parkersburg. We're tied at three. Back to serve is Kinsey Mowinkle. We got Kluster swinging in the front row for Applington Parkersburg. This is Mo Winkle serve. Hinton to Boovy puts it away, just flying. That point of contact so high as well. And another point for the Blackhawks, led by Boovy. What do you do with that? Yeah, her approach is so <laughs> aggressive, but then you know she can just see it. Oh, you're back on your heels. I'm going to tip it. She has shown that she's got a lot of different shots. A near ace, Applicant Parkersburg scrambling. They get it across. Hinton to Boovy. Dug up by the setter, Boozman. Applington Parkersburg out of system. Meyer sends it over. Here's Boovy again. Blocked but out of bounds. Point for Hinton. Attack out of the middle, and the block goes out of bounds. That's how much velocity was on that thing. And a point for Hinton. Friesen back to serve. Hicklin rotates to the front row. Friesen serving. Played by Mo Winkle outside. This is Kluster. Dug up by Hicklin, who gets it back on the left side, pinned line, got it. Hicklin puts it away, 6-3 in favor of Hinton. 6-3, Blackhawks with the lead, leading the match, two sets to zero. And a serve from Friesen, set close to the net. Boozman hit over by Uhlenhop. Here is Hicklin, blocked back and down. Point for Applington Parkersburg. And a substitution here for Applington Parkersburg. Subs today's game brought to you by IMT Insurance. Learn how you can wor be worry free with IMT at imtinsurance.com. Here comes the serve from Emma Wolf. Overpass, poked down. Nice play by Peyton Kluster. Back-to-back -back points. Applington Parkersburg within one. It's six to five. Now that's being heads up, knowing that the setter's front row and to go up with her. Uh, you know, you preach that to your kids to know where the setter is. If she's back row, she can't do that. New server, Colby Wangsness, a 5'9 sophomore serving. And down it goes. Nice play by the Falcons. Three straight. And they have come back to tie it at six. Tied at six. That was Olivia Bellows putting it away. And it comes another serve from Wangsness. Hinton. They'll go to Boovy. Gets it through the double block. They read it. They were there, but Boovy puts it through. Point for Hinton. 7-6, Hinton. I don't think they have trailed yet in this match. This is as late as it's been this close. 
Yes, you're correct. 7-6, Hinton with a one-point lead on the booby serve. There's Meyer on the right side. Sent back by Hinton. Now Hinton gets control. Kovarna, left side, Hicklin. Dug up. Here comes Applington Parkersburg, cross court. Dug up, joust at the net. Hinton's going to get control. Boovey, Hicklin, left side, blocked back by the Falcons. Hinton will reload. Free ball coming across but from Kovarna. Here come the Falcons. Outside, blocked by Hinton. Point, Hinton. Long rally, yeah. won by the Blackhawks. Although Applington Parkersburg didn't get that point, they look better. They look like they're uh, a little more confident. They're getting some blocks up. They're swinging aggressive. They've, they're getting a good pass so they can use, you know, all their hitters. And an ace for Booby. Just like that, Hinton goes on a 3-0 run after Applington Parkersburg ties it up at 6. 9-6, another ace for Booby. That is the seventh ace overall for the Blackhawks. 9-6, another serve coming for Bailey Booby. Booby, overpass. Hinton's going to slow it up. They're going to set it up out back row to Booby. Hammer. Hammers it home. Booby out of the back row. 13 for Booby. And it's 10-6, four straight scored by the Blackhawks. Fun to watch her, like, just ready. Like, it's almost like you're in the blocks ready to sprint. She's waiting to see if she gets that set when she's in the back row. 10-6, Booby, top of the tape. Falls down on the uh, Falcon side. They'll set it up on the left side. Hinton digs it up. Kovarna on the flip. That time it was into the net. And a side out for Applington Parkersburg, and they needed it. 10-7 is the score. Coming in to serve will be Emma Wolf. Wolf back to serve. Wolf. Back middle, played nicely by Friesen. Right side, Booby got it to go. That was new over there. I haven't seen her attack on that side. I could be mistaken, but Booby with a roll shot puts it away. Yeah, that's what, one of those things when you are so aggressive and you swing so hard, then you open up that shot, and she knows that. She's a well-skilled player. Here comes Applington Parkersburg, left side. Hinton digs it up, right side. That's Kovarna, hits it out of bounds, just wide, and a side out for Applington Parkersburg. 11-8 is the score. Back to serve is Peyton Kloster. 11-8, Applington Parkersburg's maintaining contact here, down by just three. Deep serve, played by Hicklin. Out of the middle, down it goes. Bergad puts it away for Hinton. 12-8, Blackhawks by four. Bergad puts it away. And the serve coming up from Carlene Hicklin for the Blackhawks. Hicklin back to serve, leading by four. Top of the tape, and an ace, another ace serve. By Hinton, aces in today's match, brought to you by Kruger Seeds, your local seeds dealer. Visit KrugerSeed.com today. Now seven aces for Hinton, according to the stats in front of me. Here comes another serve from Hicklin. Free ball coming across, and it goes out of bounds. Point Hinton. Another point for Hinton up 13-8, and a timeout called by Applington Parkersburg. Timeout called by the Falcons. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more championship volleyball from the Extreme Arena. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future with energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. You're watching Championship Volleyball here at the Extreme Arena. It's Class 2A quarterfinal match, number two, Hinton. Leading Applington Parkersburg, the seven seed, two sets to zero and a 13-8 lead in set three. Up next on court two, the three-six matchup. Grundy Center, the three seed, taking on six seed Kemper Catholic. The four o'clock match on court one, Denver, the four seed, will play number five, Sumner Fredericksburg. Class 1A stuff gets underway at six tonight. And uh, we'll have four matches in Class 1A. 
Timeout is over, and Applington Parkersburg, they'll send it up to Mo Winkle, who puts it away. Side out for Applington Parkersburg, 14-9. The time is now for them to get to go on a run and get back in this set. This is going to be Adria Niemeyer serving. Try to rally the Falcons. Trailing the match <laughs> two sets to zero. Uh, they gave the towel to everybody but the person that's in the <laughs> spot. Play past the towel. Now they're good to go. Officials time out. Lots of diving and sweaty players makes for some slippery spots. I'm surprised that, that doesn't happen more where they have to wipe up the floor. More in the summer, I would say. I don't yep. know. Isn't that, aren't they on a yeah. ice arena they down are. there? Yes, they are. I'm surprised there isn't some sort of moisture issue, but there clearly True. isn't. Kill by the Blackhawks, 15-9. Back to serve is DeRocher. That was uh, Kovarna with the uh, successful attack. Set goes outside. Mo Winkle, Hinton will play it. They'll bump set it outside. Here's Friesen, just out of bounds. And a side out for Applington Parkersburg. 15-10, Hinton with the lead in set three, leading the match two sets to zero. Bella Boozman back to serve for Applington Parkersburg. And Boozman serving. And good decision in the back row. Carlene Hicklin let that go, sails long. And a free point for Hinton up 16-10. Some team stats that I like to look at as a coach uh, that kind of tell the story. And sometimes this isn't quite updated, but you get the you get the point. Is um, Hinton has 39 kills to 15 that Applington Perkersburg has. Um, you know the number of attack errors is basically the same. It's just you know more than double the kills, and Hinton earns their points. They there really hasn't been any uh, miscued stuff. It's just all earning points, getting kills, ace serves. Impressive play. Impressive play, and they're the more aggressive. And they, they have just been able to execute, play clean volleyball. And on the out of the middle, that's Boovy once again. 17-11, Boovy with another attack. 16 for Boovy. Hitting 500 at the state tournament. That's not too bad, just two errors in 28 swings for Boovy. And a miss serve from Friesen, side out. Applington Parkersburg, 17-12. Hinton with a five-point lead in set three. Blackhawks trying to win it in three. Top seed Dyke New Hartford accomplished that. See if the number two seed. Those two teams played last year in the semifinal. Dyke New Hartford beat Hinton in three sets. And Booby on the slide, no touch. Point for Applington Parkersburg within four at 17-13. I'm sure she gets some people to touch that, and there's a kill for you right on the line, oh, right outside the line. Wangsness serving, played by Booby, hit over by Kovarna. See what Applington Parkersburg dials up. They go to the right side to Meyer, and timing a little bit off, goes into the net. Hinton with the side out in front, 18-13 in set three. Boovy going to the back row now, but as a young player watching, she would definitely be somebody you'd want to go back and watch. She's so fast. Like, she passes and then hits. Like, they're trying to work her so that she can't hit, but she is doing that. Then she's blocking. She's getting pin to pin as fast as she can. Um, very fast player. Left side, that's Hicklin who puts it away. Carlene Hicklin. The Hinton bench having some fun over there. <laughs> Having a good time. Their team in control, 19-13. Hicklin with five kills. Burgett has six. Three players have five for Hinton. Pretty good balance by the Blackhawks, led, of course, by Boovey. Was, sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I've but been thinking that same thing. Like, every team kind of has one person who gets more attempts, and, and Boovey is just so effective that her number of kills is is way up there, but the rest of the players are really contributing. She has 29 swings, but uh, three of her teammates have uh, in double figures as well, 19, 15, 11 for some of their other hitters. Here's Boovy on the right side in the back row, played by Applington Parkersburg. 
Hinton gets it back. They're going to go to Burgad out of the middle. Dug up. Applington Parkersburg cross court. Dug up by Friesen. Boovey will send it over high into the air. See what the Falcons can do. Bump set outside. Tough ball. Hit over by Mo Winkle. Right side. That's Hicklin. Dug up by the Falcons. And out of bounds. Kluster hits it out of bounds. Point for Hinton, 20 to 14 Blackhawks. Another point for Hinton. Six point lead, five points away from a sweep. And the serve by the setter, Ashlyn Kovarna. Kluster, left side, over the block that time. Dug up. Here's Hicklin on the left side. She'll tool it off the block for the kill. Hicklin with another kill. 21-14, Hinton with the lead. And our final timeout here in set number three, called by Applington Parkersburg. 21-14 is the score. We'll take a break. Come back with more championship volleyball from the Extreme Arena in a moment. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future. With energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Back at the Extreme Arena, host site of the 2023 Iowa High School Volleyball Championship. Hinton, the number two seed, Class 2A, a two sets to zero lead over number seven seed, Applington Parkersburg, 21-14. Lead for the Blackhawks here in set three, four points away from a sweep. Falcons calling their final timeout here on court number two. Hinton will have control of serve. In a match that Hinton right from the get-go. They have uh, never trailed. They've been in control the whole match. Yeah, showing that they're definitely deserving of their number two seed. Left side attack. That's Mo Winkle. Kept alive by Hinton. Hicklin will send it across. Long run for the setter. She'll bump set it outside over the block. Good get by Friesen. Middle. That was Bergad, and it's blocked. Blocked by Olivia Bellows out of the middle and a point for Applington Parkersburg. 21-15 is the score. Kluster back to serve for Applington Parkersburg. Kluster to serve. Falcons hoping for a rally. Good get by Hinton diving. Booby will send it across out of the back row. Here goes the set. That's Mo Winkle. Hinton gets a touch. Friesen bump set right side. Kovarna is blocked. Mo Winkle combining with the middle with the block. Point Park Applington Parkersburg. Just a five point Hinton lead, 21 16. This has been the tightest of the three sets so far. And the serve by Kluster. Boovey with the pass. Set close to the net. Sent back by Applington Parkersburg. And Hicklin will send it across. Outside, big swing by Mo Winkle, blocked by Kovarna and Hinton with the side out. Point, Blackhawks. 22 to 16, Hinton oh so close from getting a three set to zero win. Hicklin back to serve. Friesen rotates to the front. Hicklin, good serve. Chasing is Applington Parkersburg and they're not able to control it. Another ace for Hinton. That is now nine in this match. 23-16. Four different players have two ace serves each for the Blackhawks. In Friesen, Hicklin, Boovey, and DeRocher. And a block by Bergad and Friesen. Match point coming up for Hinton. 24-16, it'll be Hicklin, one of the seniors on this Blackhawk team, serving for the match. Carlene Hicklin, 24-16, match point. Serves it short, near overpass, poked down by Bergad and Hinton. A straight set win, 25-14, 25-13, 25-16. Hinton wins their 22nd straight match. 
31 and 1 on the season. Applington Parkersburg 34 and 9. Their season comes to an end. We're going to go courtside for the trophy presentation, and we'll come back up after the trophy presentation in a brief timeout. Fans, please direct your attention to the court for the awards presentation. In addition to receiving their team trophy, each participating player will receive a medallion and commemorative volleyball provided by the Iowa Farm Bureau, proud title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Presenting awards from the IGHSAU are Ben Van White and Gary Ross. Congratulations to head coach Candace Clespies and the Falcons from Aptick and Parkersburg on an outstanding 2023 volleyball season. And now Ashlyn Kovarna from Hinton will advance her team on the bracket to the semifinal round. Blackhawk fans, your team advances to the semifinals and will play either Grundy Center or Kemper Catholic on Wednesday, November 1st at 4.25 p.m. right here on court number two. Fans, on behalf of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, we thank you for your support, your attendance, and especially your support of the Iowa Girls. Please drive home safely. And we are going to take a break here on court number two, and we'll uh, wrap it up with a post-game show here in a moment. What's affordable to her might not be for him. Our means may be different, but our need for energy is the same. And keeping the price for that energy as low as possible is exactly what we strive to do. It's what we've always done. Investments made 10 years ago have kept prices nearly unchanged. Investments made today will help keep prices predictable for the future with energy that's cleaner, reliable, and affordable for all. An energy future that's American-made. Mid-American. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Well, it's being the right place at the right time. And, you know, this is true in history with a lot of things. Agriculture, where it's a moving dynamics out there, you have to have somebody that drives out to their farm and still worries about whether it's rained or what the grain price is, or climb up in the grain bin and uh, make sure that everything's uh, working like it's supposed to. Um, and Frank, Frank, when you think fairway, you think fresh. Is that the winning culture you've tried to create? Penelope Pineapple, what an unbelievable produce performance. How does your team stay so fresh? Sunkissed Orange, is it true Fairway has offered the freshest produce in town since 1938? What can we say? Our produce is so fresh, we're speechless. This is our son, Sebastian. In 2021, he took half a pill he didn't know was counterfeit. That tiny pill contained enough fentanyl to kill him almost instantly. Kids buy them on social media and share them with their friends, not realizing how dangerous they are. Please talk to your kids about not taking anything that's not directly prescribed to them. Our child will never get to grow up, but we want yours to be able to. Welcome back to the Extreme Arena. Our final score, number two seed Hinton with a straight set win over seven seeded Applington Parkersburg, 25-14, 25-13, 25-16. And Molly Hinton, very impressive. We were just talking off mic. Uh, very impressive performance. We were both anxious to watch 
Uh, Bailey Boovey in action, and she delivered. But uh, there are some other pieces on this Hinton team that were very impressive tonight. Yeah, agreed. Uh, there, there's, well, many pieces, but um, their setter is Kavarna, Ashley, Ashlyn Kavarna. Um, you know, she's a senior setter. Uh, she can attack. She can, she can dump in multiple ways. She's a great setter. Um, tall and then forces that, you know, puts together a really good block with Boovy, but also their other right side hitter um, puts up a good block as well. And, and all their other pieces, like they're, you know, they're just very talented in many spots. And I think that's obviously why they're here, um, but nothing for Appleton Parkersburg to hang their heads. You know, they played a good match, um, but they just, you know, today Hinton was the better team and uh, Appleton Parkersburg had a great season. Um, should be very, very proud of the way that they got here and, uh, you know, some seniors going out and excited to make the state tournament, um, you know, and going to continue to watch Hinton see what they can do at the state tournament. Up next for Hinton, a semifinal contest against either Grundy Center, the three seed, or Kemper Catholic, the six seed. That semifinal for Hinton tomorrow at 425 p.m. The other half of the bracket, number one seed Dyke New Hartford advance. They will play in tomorrow's semifinal at four against either Denver or Sumner Fredericksburg. Up next here on court two, it is indeed Grundy Center and Kemper Catholic, a 425 start time, and that will start on time. So on behalf of our crew here in Coralville, I am Matt Boss and joined by uh, Molly Geis as well. Thank you for watching our live coverage of the 2023 Girls State Volleyball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau on Girls Union Network powered by Mid-American Energy.